Supposed to be here at I have a little tool here we can test out today. It's from VDIAG Tool. It is the V200 Pro automatic, sorry, automotive circuit probe and brake breaker finder kit. So I've already got it open here. You've got an extension lead, a 12 volt socket. Got two different tools here. One is a breaker finder. And this is the circuit probe. So we can use this to test continuity on fuses. If we change the setting, I'm not sure if you can see the screen. You've got different settings here you can change it to. Now if we run across these fuses, you can see that this one is it's not making any noise. And if we come to this one, this side is live, and this side is dead. So if we pull that fuse out, you can see that's the one that's beeping, you can see that that's blown. I can put the correct fuse back in there, it's supposed to be a 30 amp. Now if we test that again, you can see there, we're not beeping anymore. So if we set it to volts, try and get it where you can see the screen, see we've got 12 volt across. So if I pull that back out, and we put back in this blown fuse that I had earlier, you can see now that we've got 12 volts come across here, we've only got 1 volt. So you can use it for circuit testing, testing your voltage. And not only voltage, it will also test if you've got a good ground. You can see it turns green when we've got a good ground. Now by pressing these buttons up here, we can press up and supply 12 volt power to wherever you want to put it. Just be very careful when you are doing that. And you can also press down to supply an earth to anywhere that you want to test. So it also comes with this little tool here as an automotive circuit breaker like I showed earlier. I don't have anywhere that I can actually show you this working but I think the battery might be dead or not. Uh, but basically you run along until you find a break in the wire and it should beep. See on the top there you got two little torches for your dark areas. Now one of the many uses for this that I've often often used in the past is if you want to test if you've got a power supply to your starter motor for instance um, and if you want to verify that the starter motor is working you can put this to the starter motor and put your 12 volt supply to it which will make the engine turn over and uh, then that will confirm if you've got a starter motor working. Now I shouldn't really have to tell you what this is used for but in the wrong hands it can be quite dangerous so I'm pretty sure anyone who's going to buy one are going to know what they're using it for and what you know what you're going to what you're going to be doing with it. So you can see here it comes with quite a fair length of lead. And on top of that one we've also got like a show there extension for it and different sort of connectors where you want to get your power supply from. At the moment it's currently connected up to the battery. So these are your different settings on it. You can change from here. Beep it when you get it on a uh, earth. This is just a little look over the tool. Speaker down there. Now this tool, I think, pretty good. The quality seems okay. Uh, this side of it, not really too impressed with. To be honest, this one doesn't feel as good, and I don't seem to be able to get this one working even though it's got a battery in there. Okay, so that's the tool there. I'll put a link in the video description for it. So I'll stick it now back in my van. I can go there with some of the rest of my electrical tools. See you in the next video.